Hey YouTube, hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I just decided I was gonna do some vlogging today. Uh, we just played a show last night, uh, my band Blisshead, and um, now we're gonna be uh, going out and playing a few towns over, uh, Detroit in Michigan. So I thought I would just uh, vlog today. I need some more content on my channel, and uh, I just thought it would be fun to just uh, to, to have you guys go on this adventure. We have no clue what's gonna happen today. It's it's a weird, I feel like today is gonna be weird, so I was like, you know what? If it's gonna get weird and wacky, then uh, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be recording it today. For some reason, it's one of these things where um, I booked a show, and then I guess the venue also booked a show, so there was two shows, and then the venue just decided to not cancel anything and just smash both shows together. So, <laughs> so we're gonna be trying to play a gigantic gig tonight with eight bands. The gig last night got pretty crazy. Where is that? Look at that. That's blood on my pants. I was getting a little too squirmy. But on the bright side, these pants, they look so cool now. They look battle scarred. I look like a, like a, a warrior badass. So, you know, um, I'm not gonna wash them. I'm just gonna leave the blood on here. Yeah, speaking of that, I do gotta wash those pants. But the crazy thing is, I did find a portal a portal to another dimension when I crawled under a table and um, the, the bleeding must have just been a, a natural blood sacrifice um, but yeah I, 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 I traveled to the upside down I'm telling you I just went under this table and I was just teleported to another dimension it was freaking freaking insane you would just have to be there I, you know you just gotta come to a blisshead show and you'll get you'll be able to teleport to, to other dimensions I also walked into a bathroom and there was pee on the ground it was pretty fun <laughs> Got pee all over my socks, you know? Nothing better than getting pee all over your socks. Pee! It's got Clusan Deluxe Vintage Tuners on it, too. Ryan got a new guitar. I'm so old. <laughs> <laughs> I just put the strings on like four hours ago, so I've been trying to break them in. Tight. Tight. The neck feels great, dude. Yeah. No, I'm not recording. We're gonna go to Detroit with our buddies in Crooked Heart. Look at how fucking, ah. they're so cute. Oh, and Josh is cute too. Don't make fun of my snacks again, okay? <laughs> What's that green beverage you're drinking? Don't talk about it. Is it like, um, it's absinthe. absinthe. I gotta get ready for my gig. <laughs> All right, it is hot as fuck outside. Me and Josh are on our way to Detroit and we are ready to fucking rock tonight. Yeah! <laughs> and it is, it is literally, it's, it's 90, 95 or something, but 91. they- 91. But the heat index is like almost 100 and like something, like 104 or something. So it is hot as fuck. And uh, Josh has no air conditioning. I don't believe in it. <laughs> I, I don't have air conditioning in my car either, so. I'm used to it. I got, I'm making sure I let my nipples breathe. Yeah. Yeah. My, my nipples are gonna be getting a lot of action today. You want a cinnamon twist? Yes. Sweaty. Oh. Mm. How's that cinnamon twist? That's refreshing. Oh. <laughs> Would you like a, another cinnamon mm. twist? Mm -mm. Eat it. It's too refreshing. Okay. Eat it. Ah. Hey Rod, do you want a cinnamon twist? Sure. What are they? They're really refreshing. Oh. Is that good? No, not really. <laughs> I'm gonna go feed Ryan a cinnamon twist. I can't get, uh, eat this. You need to get refreshed. Oh. Does it taste like sawdust? No, it's a little stale though. You're stale. Dude, it is so fucking hot outside. Unbelievable. God. Is your wiener like sweating like crazy? It's shriveled up into my belly button. Oh my God. It's too hot. Every part of my body is fucking sweating. Oh God. This, this freaking gas station is so busy. Ryan, there's so many people here. No, there is a party here. We need to get some water. We're gonna die, we're gonna die. Oh my God. Oh, where's the water at? You gonna get a sub? I don't like Subway. When there's a smell to it, I like it. Oh, 
smelling stuff like You smelt it and you were like, no way. And I was like, nah, I can't eat Subway. He's dog shit. Rod, what were you saying? You feel like you, we couldn't have found a busier gas station in the whole world? You've never seen a gas station this busy before? I never have. <laughs> Look at it, look at it. I know, it's insane. I can't get it on film though. It's you can't like, tell. In There's the maybe, subway line right now? Maybe 30 people in line. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> Let's go in there and make There's fun like, of them. I don't fucking know. They're giving out, I don't know, free, free I'm gonna crack. Go in there There's free crack. In That's free crack. <laughs> We're going to leave Ryan behind. He's still in line and <laughs> in there. Yeah, you can you can play his new guitar. Yeah, okay. I'll play guitar tonight. Hell yeah. We're a three piece. Yeah, there's like no parking spots either. We just have to hang out somewhere. This is the busiest gas station I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we got to the venue and we're looking around. It's pretty crazy in here. It's a big, big space. But yeah, pretty cool in here. We're looking for um the other dudes in the other bands that we know. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, but this place is crazy. It's like an art gallery. Oh, there you guys are. A bunch of art. Okay. Art stuff. How was your fucking air conditioning? It was absolutely <laughs> just <fantastic. laughs> And necessary. <laughs> AC rules! Dude, you don't need sunglasses in here, bro. It's dark. I'm just gonna wear them all the time from now on. That's cool, I like that. Yeah. Dude, you're looking snifty. Snifty. Nifty. This dude is scaring me. Who's this guy? What's up, buddy? Hey, oh, don't bite me. Gosh. Dude, this art piece almost bit me, Rod. Oh, he's, got, he's a crazy man. <laughs> Look at this cute boy I found. How's it's, it going, fellas? It's the drummer for Tacoma, Washington. Look at, Look at this guy. Hi. Give it a kiss. Oh, it's so cute! Noah! Give me a kiss! Oh, yes! Thank you! Thank you! Logan! Give me a kiss! One, one, one! Check, one, two, check! One, two, check! One, two, three, four! One, two, check! What are you guys doing? Cute boy things? Yes. Hell yeah you are, I knew it. Dude, did you know that you're literally like, they told me that you're the freaking band model. Yeah. yeah, so can you like make like a good model look for me? Dude, that looks so good. Dude, I'm putting that on a magazine right now. <laughs> I got- yeah, I could be a model. No, you're good, wait, let me get your booty in it. There it is. Damn! Mm, oh, I got holes in my shirts like a model would too. You know? Yeah, so, I see it. Where yeah. is it? See? Is that your belly button that's hole? That's actually my belly. Like, oh, look. Oh, but that's how you get stuff out of your belly button, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, your set was really cool. Can I be part of your weekday club? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Join the us. sign up sheet is up front. It is? Yeah. Up front in the venue? Yes. Uh, oh. You have to agree to uh, a clause of um, Give 50 your... lashings, though. Lashings? lashings. Yes. So this lashings. is a cult. This isn't a club. I like it more now. It's kind of culty. Yeah. It's like a cult thing. Shirts. You have to give us your shirts. No, I can't do that. Oh, I guess you can't. Well, I guess well, the thing is, I'm letting my nipples breathe, but not too much, you know? That makes sense. It's, it's, it's a reasonable yeah. one. Of yeah. Yeah. One of my shirts? Yeah. I'm yeah. wearing wearing one. So how about I take my shirt off and keep it and give you my skin? That's fine. It's like a cult thing. That's even better. Yeah, Okay. We've had that a couple of times, and those people those people are the fastest rising in the in the, in the in the cult? Yeah. 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 So what are the do you guys give out stickers like golden stickers or whatever? Well, for uh, the sugar cubes or something? Right. Uh, made out of like teeth. 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 Yeah. I like teeth. that. Baby rattles made out of spines and bones. Yeah. Dang. We take the teeth from our, uh, the people that we keep in the basement under the stairs. Okay, but are those people part of the club? They are not. Not technically. Not anymore. More well, like. No. Well, they were. <laughs> Okay, I see. You know, they were it's like a it's like a meat grinder thing. It is it's similar. Well, they, I mean, you know, do you eat? Not listen to the rules. Yeah. Oh, I like uh, rules. You know, yeah, that's I mean, why I live in America. I think it's fine. I mean, I think we I think <laughs> our rules are okay. We, we we love. Yeah, exactly. You're you'd be a perfect fit. You'd, you'd like be a great 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 group. Yeah. These guys are crazy. <laughs> Dude, I'm joining a cult. You want to come? I'll be there. You will? Yeah. Well, can you tell me when? Can you do it as soon as possible? Every on Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. All right. I'll pencil you in. Can you guys teach me how to play piano? 
Dude, I don't even know how to play piano, man. Well, what the heck? You guys are over here rocking out on this piano. Yeah. These, these guys are in sugar tradition. Yeah. They're some psychedelic rockers. I like it. Yes, sir. I am a big fan. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get freaking crazy during your set. Yes, you are, dude. Oh, I'm gonna go nuts. Okay, I'll take my clothes off. I cannot wait. Oh, no, no, not that. Oh. You want me to keep my clothes on? Yeah, yeah, just keep for now. Dude, that's so unfair. I'm gonna take my clothes off. <laughs> I'm gonna go do it now, actually. <laughs> That shit was so crazy. Wait, later, that? Put that mob like, mentality in the liver. I don't know, it was an early one. And, and um, later in the night, um, everyone started like burning their clothes. It was like, it was, like bonfires. Everyone was like naked and burning their clothes. Oh my they, god. They went in the bathrooms and like broke the sinks off the walls, like the water was shooting out of the walls. What? I was just like, people are fucking animals, dude. <laughs> You get him in a big group like that. <laughs> like I went into the bathroom, like water is just like shooting out of the walls. Like people broke the sinks off. I'm just like, you guys are assholes. <laughs> We're at a bar in Detroit. Um, the show was awesome. My back hurts. I'm really tired. <laughs> I got a super cute shirt though. Check this out. It's got a cute pocket on it. This cute shirt. This cute pocket. Uh, this band called Cavern Company, and they were really awesome. <laughs> I'm really tired, and I'm about to have some chicken tacos, and I'm gonna drive home. Um, I'm gonna be the designated driver so that Josh can drink. I got his keys right here. <laughs> I got some cute, yummy chicken tacos. Look at that hot sauce. You're in my way. <laughs> I here to see Ryan's beautiful face. Ryan. Uh, oh, there you are. You look good today, Ryan. Have I said that yet? I think so. Oh yeah, I probably did. <laughs> Hey YouTube, I'm cutting in here. It is a few days later after we were in Detroit. Um, we had a really, really good time in Detroit. We saw so many of our uh, of our buddies and we got to meet, meet tons of new bands. Sorry, my keys were annoying me. First of all, I got to reunite with my buddies in Tacoma Washington Weekday Club. Uh, they're the cutest boys and I had such a good time seeing them and they played an awesome set. <laughs> We also went up to Detroit with our buddies in uh, Crooked Heart and they freaking just slayed, they rocked faces off, riffing and rowdy and I love those boys too. More, more cute, awesome boys. <laughs> We also got to meet this uh, this band where, I don't know, they're these really young kids but they're playing really, really old school rock and roll, uh, Iggy Pop, Rolling Stones, uh, Led Zeppelin kind of stuff. And they really rocked. I was like, oh, these little kids are freaking throwing down. But they're a cool uh, psychedelic rock band called Sugar Tradition. Um, all these bands, I'm going to link them in the description. So if you want to check some of them out, you should check them out. Um, but yeah, Sugar Tradition was really cool. We also got to meet this band called Cavern Company, and they're kind of, um, uh, I would I would say they're just on, in the poppy realm, and usually whenever I watch a pop band, I'm just bored out of my mind, but these dudes were so sick. The singer was super, super good, and um, they said one of their biggest influences was The Killers, and um, they kind of had that vibe, but yeah, they were really, they're, they're poppy in a good way. Really, really good melodies, and I had a good time. <laughs> Whoever thought of that? The guy who decided to just stick a pocket on a shirt? That, that guy or girl. Whoever invented the pocket shirt uh, is the bomb. And anyways, 
Today, I'm going to be going and getting myself a new bass rig. Originally, before I started singing, I was more of a, a bassist. Um, I, I sang and played bass in a really old band I had called No Health. And um, ever since No Health, I kind of have taken the, um, the back burner on playing uh, bass. And I've been having this like crazy, crazy, crazy itch to play bass again in a band. So I'm getting myself a, a bass rig. And one of my buddies, my buddy Siler, is uh, selling his uh, bass rig. So I was like, hey, if you're selling your bass rig, just sell it to me and I'll buy it. And um, oh, I've, I keep using this uh, guitar pick here. Focus, camera, focus. I keep using this guitar pick. This uh, shout outs to Super Snake. I probably shouldn't be destroying this pick because it's really cool and it's like a unique uh, band pick. But I keep playing with it because it's nice. I don't know, I like it. It's nice and hard. Making all my chugs sound amazing. So yeah, I'm trying to, to get my thoughts together today. Um, ah, trying to freaking remember all the things that I gotta do. I also gotta get some new guitar cables today. I've had this guitar cable for for freaking years, just years. And it's finally given out on me last night. So I gotta go buy some new guitar cables. <laughs> Man, this guitar cable is so old. <laughs> I also pulled out my dusty, my dusty vintage tube screamer. Well, uh, uh, vintage reissue, it's not actually vintage. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to, to dial these knobs and play with this thing. I haven't played with this thing in so long. Okie dokie, bass and guitar are all situated and I am ready to rumble. My bass guitar, my giant, my giant ass Gibson Ripper barely fits in my Mini Cooper. My Mini Cooper is like this big and the Gibson Ripper is like this big. Get in there. Oh my gosh, it doesn't fit ever. Ah, okay, don't worry, we got it. She fits, folks. Oh my gosh. Oh God, it is so freaking hot outside. Let's see if my car starts. Nope. <laughs> I gotta get my starter fixed. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Now I can roll the windows down so I don't freaking roast. And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it's hot out. Cause no, I do not want it to be winter time. I, I like the heat, okay? I like getting hot and, hot and sweaty. Just look at him back there. So majestic. You know what? Sometimes Johnny is quite the, the backseat driver. Yeah. I took a left turn up there and he was like, uh, you're cutting it a little close. And I was like, you know what? I knew how fast I was going and I knew how fast the other car was going and I knew I wasn't going to get in a car accident, okay? Don't argue with me, bass. I play you, you don't play me. Well, I guess the bass plays me. You know, I feel the groove through the bass, you know? So, maybe I should be listening to him more often. He's got good ideas. Really great ideas. Guitars. More guitars. Geeters. Geeter. Got myself a little baby cable to get me by. You have a fucking motorcycle? You look like such a badass. What the hell? I'm just standing at his door and he just rides up on a motorcycle looking like a badass. Hey puppy. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> hey bud. You're just a pug. You know they genetically modify you. You're a GMO pug. Come here. Puppy. Hello. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Hey, so it's been a few hours. I totally forgot I was vlogging and I just started playing bass. Kind of lost myself. This is my new rig right here. Look at that. Oh, doo -doo -doo. I got an Ampeg. A big giant Ampeg and a, I, got a, I got a GK, a Galleon Kruger. Um, yeah, so I just was just playing bass, totally forgot that we're supposed to be vlogging today. <laughs> oh man, I cannot even begin to tell you guys how excited I am to be playing bass again. I just, I, I, I practice on my bass in a really crappy like Line 6 practice amp, but um, I just haven't had a bass rig in years. It's been years, years, years since I've had an actual bass rig. It just clunk, 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 clunks into everything. <laughs> Back at Brendan's house, gonna have to get, gonna have to get Johnny inside. He is an old man. He cannot sit in the car for too long. He uh, dehydrates easily. I don't want him to, to, um, to die in there. This boy, 
this boy, Mr. Johnny, he is almost, almost, he's nearly 50 years old. He's gonna be 50 year old soon, 50 year old. And uh, yeah, he's older than I am. Me and Brendan are on our way. We're gonna go to uh, Snake and Jake. We're gonna get some food in our tummies. Oh, Brendan, did I tell you, um, did I tell you my Taco Bell drive through story? What happened in Taco Bell? I didn't tell you this? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I pulled up at, to Taco Bell. And um, so anyways, there was a lady in front of me. And for some freaking crazy reason, she started like honking her horn at me. So I was like, I was like freaked out that like maybe I was like too close to her or something. Um, but it's in a Taco Bell drive-thru. You go yeah. neck and neck, right? I mean, butt and butt and butt, or head and butt, whatever, butt, butt, Bumpers. butt, butt, bumper. That's what they're called, not butts. Well, it's like a car butt. Anyway, so I was so, anyway, she started like laying on the horn. Like she was fucking going, dude, no, she was <laughs> like going nuts. And I was like, what is she doing? She's fucking freaking out. And she was like, started screaming in her car. So I backed up. Uh, I backed my car up a little bit. I was like, maybe that's what she's screaming about. And okay, so to preface this, I forgot. So I've been on the phone this whole time, and I was talking to uh, my bassist Rod. We were talking about some some shows and stuff that we got booked. And so what happened was freaking, and or, is she rolled her window down, and she started screaming at me that I was on my cell phone. <laughs> get off your cell phone. And she was like, "Get off your cell phone! It's illegal." And uh, mind you, I'm also in the Taco Bell drive-through. <laughs> But Some then she, people, yeah. So she started screaming at me that it was illegal, and I was like, "Lady, it's not illegal to be on my cell phone. It's literally not illegal." And she was like, and she just started swearing at me, and she was like, "You're gonna hit me with your car if you're on your cell phone." And I was like, "Lady, I'm not gonna hit your car. You're fine." And then she was literally just was like, "I'm gonna fucking call the cops if you don't get off your phone." And I was like, and I was still talking to Rod, and he's just laughing. He's just laughing, he's like, what? That lady is insane. And I was like, I know, like what the fuck is going on? He's like right out your door. <laughs> and she was just right in front of me, out, outside of her door, like screaming at me. Like almost like freaking popping out of the car basically. <laughs> she was going nuts. And I was like, lady, I'm not gonna get off the phone, it's fine. Yeah, I was just like, get your talk about lady. Anyways, she just kept screaming at me and honking her horn, so I just drove away. I went down to, to Meyer and got some like green tea or whatever. But literally, I was like, what in the hell? Like, it's not illegal to be on your cell phone when you're driving a car. Like, it sucks if you're driving like a maniac, but I wasn't even driving weird. I literally was in a Taco Bell drive through with the brakes on, <laughs> you know? And the whole time I was stopped. I wasn't even moving. And then she, all of a sudden she looked back and I have my phone and she just started screaming at me. <laughs> I thought you'd think that's interesting. They have like, yeah, do they, do, do they have like a texting driving law? Yeah, you can't text and drive. That's illegal. But we got a call. But what if you text? Especially in a place that you know is no longer traffic. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if I even if I was texting or on my phone and I'm in the Taco Bell drive-through, what danger am I to anybody? <laughs> I, if I hit her bumper, I'm going less than one mile an hour, <laughs> right? So like. What am I gonna do to her? It's always people in fast food drive throughs I know, but that's what I, was, I thought there was gonna be some chicken nugget situation. Yeah. Where she was gonna come, okay. like, smash Throw in my some, window yeah. and, Throw like. Some, freaking, <laughs> some, like, chair through your window somehow. Yeah, throw a chair through my window, pull me out of the car, I'm flailing around, and she just starts, like, <laughs> she just starts gnawing on my neck. And just, like, blood squirting <laughs> out. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Taco zombies. Taco zombies. <laughs> Brendan was just saying how weird Steak and Shake looks like in the daytime. Cause let's be honest, if you go to Steak and Shake, you're going here at like freaking two in the morning or three in the morning. And yeah, it looks weird. It's like creepier in the daytime. Steak and Shake basically like gives food away for free. So, so this place is like always full. I don't know, it's always, every time I go into a Steak and Shake, there's like only half of a table. There's one table that two families are sitting at. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know each other and they're forced to bond. <laughs> what's uh what's what's your daughter's name? She over uh she over 18? Just check. <laughs> I swear that I can't even breathe air as cheap as I can get steak and shake. Dude, imagine how much it would suck 
to lose your sticky hand. Sticky hand. Oh. Or maybe that would drop down and fall in your food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's down. It's it's sticky hand. Dude, if I was flipping that sticky hand around and it like latched onto the ceiling, I would be freaking crying. I would be crying instantly. Shit, I didn't know you got a freaking whole shake. Ultimate banana. Oh. Dude, that banana is huge, man. Slide it in. Yes. I can't, I can't even <laughs> no, dude, that would be good. Suck on it like that. I think your straw is too high, Brendan. You getting anything? <laughs> I think the straw was more getting yeah. me inside. <laughs> well, imagine if you sucked on that and then you sucked yourself into the shake and then you were gonna live in that shake now. <laughs> I am the shake. Be the shake. Can I touch your, can I poke your food? I can touch yours. Yeah, you touch mine. Okay. We're just checking, making sure, is it good? Oh, oh. oh what, what'd you find under there? No, what the fuck? What'd I, you do? I, I, you know what, you take it now. I, I don't even want it. I, You're pinching my burger? Dude, be gentle with it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. This man is a monster. <laughs> it was like a horror movie in there. Me and Brennan didn't know how to like leave. It was crazy. Dude, no, it was a horror movie in there. He's for oh, oh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> First of all, I hit I'm hitting you because you flayed the skin off of my burger. <laughs> and and dude, I saw a guy in there and he was eating french fries with a fork. What? Yes. Oh, I'm forever changed. <laughs> Sorry I punched you in the face. <laughs> you deserved it though. But yeah, there's a guy who was fucking, oh man. You eat french fries with your fork, you're going to hell. Axl Rose fucking sucks. I really want to play D&D. &D. D &D? <laughs> yeah. Dungeons and freaking dragons. Can we do two player Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> I'll be the dungeon master and you'll be my slave. <laughs> uh, I think that's a different kind of That's a different kind of play. That's a different kind of role playing. <laughs> that's a different kind of game entirely. <laughs> Dang it. My buddy Tristan is here. Trying to get closer to him. Oh, I'm getting a mention towards you. It's my buddy Tristan. We're gonna play uh, some Magic the Gathering. Ooh, look at how cute you are today. I'm trying to zoom in on you. Would you focus on my friend, please? Standard casting prices still apply. Tristan, how much, how much dollars of Magic cards are out right now? Or like, how much? Of these things? Yeah, how much, yeah, these thingies. Like, how much money's worth of cards do, do we have in our hands right now? Uh, like, probably like three grand. <laughs> God. So, I'm gonna just, dude, Brent, me and Brennan are gonna freaking tie you up to the radiator over there, and then we're stealing all this, and we're gonna go on like a, we're going to Las Vegas. Life and I gain 12, I would gain 24 HP. Tristan is literally just fucking us. <laughs> just fucking us to death. Try my best, Keegan. <laughs> Both of you lose 12 life, by the way. No. Oh, shit. I'm not, I'm not, you know what? No. No. <laughs> 12 life? Yeah. She, she, did she like revert? She has five, because he has three and he's legendary. Uh, so she's at five, six, because she's a vampire now. Key, you're at 24? Yes. Um, so. Uh, swinging at you, so right now that's gonna be five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 to 22, 22 to 27. I'm killing you, dear commander. 
Um... <laughs> Killing me with my own card. Wait, no, I don't want to kill you with your own card because that's I, that's overkill. And I want to be exact because that's way easier on my half. I'll be. I feel you. like that's way more sadistic. <laughs> like I'm killing you exactly. Exactly. Uh, and then Marvin Vane Dusk Apostle is also going to be going at you. Uh, and then I'll be swinging my two at you. Dorana at you. He's killing Sisse both of us at, at the same time. You. I forgot to end my vlog. Do you have any last words, Brendan? Ah.